Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the CHALL, and today, Chow Chat Steve Parks from Pleasurewood Hills here in the UK. Now, this is on an update on one of their roller coasters, and something seems to be happening. Stay tuned for more. Now, then, before we get started with this update, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the OK Spell Stone YouTube video. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. We're under 800 away from 3K. So let's get there as soon as possible. The goal is to get there before the end of the year, but I reckon we can do it before the end of this year. I reckon we can do it. We're also on the road to half a million views. Let's get there as soon as possible. Please go and watch all the other videos on the channel. On a day where there's no news updates that, that get uploaded, we'll be uploading things like pre-show videos, queue line videos, off-ride footage. We will load in uh, past video compilations. We've seen a lot of them at the moment. We've got a nice big four-parter coming up about Tornado Springs from 2019 through to 2021. So stay tuned for that one. And for now, guys, let's get straight on with this. Because we've got this video to do. We've got plenty more content to film over the next few days. We've got some big videos coming up before the end of the year. Of course, people will know I'm now a Merlin annual pass, uh, uh, platinum pass holder. So uh, the privilege pack that comes with the card. Fingers crossed we might be able to do an unboxing video for that one. Stay tuned for that one. Uh, and for now, guys, let's talk about this one then. This is about Pleasurewood Hills. And this is about one of their roller coasters. Now then, we know that Pleasurewood Hills has received many refurbishment projects over the last few years. Uh, obviously, Snake in the Grass, uh, the old Rattlesnake roller coaster, uh, which has stood, uh, was stood at SBNO for quite a while. Of course, became the Express in 2019. I remember doing a video on that on the old channel. Um, obviously, we know that the old uh, Log Flume ride has become the Water Fun Factory just a couple of years ago. Uh, and it looks like the next ride up for a refurbishment or an overhaul of some kind is Marble Madness. Now then, a bit of history for you about the park. It was created by an entrepreneur in 1983 called Joe Larter. Uh, now then, what about the coaster in question? This is Marble Madness. Now this, for those of you who are fans of Flamingo Land, will notice, uh, this operated between 1997 and 2012 as the wild mouse over at flamingo land and for those of you wondering um what sits in the plot of land that wild mouse once sat in it's hero so uh, make of that what you will uh now their marble madness is a marathon wild mouse roller coaster with a length of 1213.9 feet a height of 49.3 feet a max speed of 28 miles per hour and a 1 minute 10 ride duration. Now this has got the same layout as Gotham City Gauntlet Escape from Arkham Asylum over at Six Flags New England, which of course entered that part back in 2011. So, what is happening with Marble Madness? Well, to keep you in the loop, uh, the ride will be receiving a major retheme, as well as installing a new operating system, a new station and reworked cars. So it sounds like a big overhaul of this ride with a new name and a new theme. Uh, now then, uh, the track on the roller coaster is being dismantled to prepare for the ride for the beginning of the 24, 2024 season in March. So it sounds like this refurbishment will be ready, hopefully fingers crossed for the start of the season. Now the general manager of the park, Ricky Lark, says over the past four years a number of projects have been carried out to bring the park in line with the exciting future for which it is heading. Marble Madness is one of our family favourite roller coaster attractions and we have to be sure this development will be eagerly anticipated by many. The team at the park work incredibly hard, and with this development and others forthcoming, it is a sign of the fun, exciting times to come at Pleasurewood Hills. So then, that is what we're expecting. Now, the new name is just my own guess. I don't, at the park, it, it's not been confirmed in the report whether a new name is coming. However, I have, I, I, this is just, that was just my opinion. I think a new name is coming with the new retheme, with the new cars, with the new station, which has already been announced as part of this development. Uh, so Marble Madness is the next major attraction to get a big refurbishment project over at Pleasurewood Hills. Um, it's one of the older coasters operating uh, in the UK. Obviously, it opened back in 1997, back at Flamingoland. So um, you know, it was part of a it was part of a golden era at Flamingoland, the Wild Mouse. It was part of a nice big golden era uh, for the park, of course, along with the Bullet, with Magnum Force. Both of those replaced by Kamali. Uh, you had uh, the corkscrew, of course, uh, replaced by Sick, the ten looping roller coaster. Um, it was, it was, a, it was a classic among some other classic rides. You had the Sky Flyer, of course, that went to Pleasure Island uh, for a year before the park closed in 2016. 
Um, obviously, you had a Tidal Wave, which was like a, a, a variation of a top spin. Uh, that got removed in favour of Mumbo Jumbo uh, in 2009. So it was part of a golden era for rides at Flamingoland. And, um, you know, Wild Mouse was a classic, classic ride for, for Flamingoland. And, you know, it was one of them where you, you had those memories on it. I never got a chance to ride the ride at Flamingoland. I still need to go to Pudgewood Hills to ride it as, as in its current form. Uh, however, I'm very excited to ride the new version. I've never got a chance to do Marble Madness, but I'm excited with this new version of the ride. Uh, but I never got a chance to do it as the Wild Mouse at Flamingo Land, which is a shame, because uh, the ride it, it got replaced by Hero, uh, in my opinion, just isn't a great roller coaster, in my opinion. I think it's rough, I think it's uncomfortable, uh, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, in a professional opinion, I think the Hero... For the for the crowd for 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 the general public, I mean, people still queue up to ride it, so it is bringing in guests of some sort. Um, so it is still bringing in people, but maybe not as many as Sick would do, or Kamali would do, or Mumble Jumbo, uh, Mumble Mumbo Jumbo would do. Uh, Mumble Jumbo, Mumbo Jumbo, uh, rhyming with Chow. There we go. Uh, but uh, but no, overall, like I said, it's great to see this work taking place on Marble Madness. Good to see the refurbishment were taking place. Refresh the ride, give it a new, you know, breath of life, a new refresh of life uh, into the attraction. And it's good that Pleasure Wood Hills are keeping on top of these refurbishments and really, you know, revitalizing these old attractions. And I do wonder what attraction could be next after after Marble Madness. So stay tuned for for more updates on this when we get them. But there we go, guys. Thank you very very much for this video. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll go out to Pleasure Wood Hills at some point during the 2024 season to experience. The new and improved Marble Madness, if that is what it's called. Uh, so thank you very much, guys. I am the C-H-A-L-L. Ta-ra for now.